YouTube, what's going on as you guys know, I am TrueTrizz, and I just want to start off by saying this is going to be a quite informative video, and I really, really, really advise you guys to watch the entire video before you guys make any comments in the comment section, because I can already see it, a lot of uh, Minecraft community members tend to watch like the first, like, I don't know, 30 seconds of the video, make their opinion, and then they start commenting, and it's like, dude, did you watch the video at all? Because I clearly backed up the information that I tried telling you guys. But anyways, before I get into that, make sure you guys do smack the like button. If you guys do enjoy these news information videos, talking to you guys about the future of Minecraft on Xbox, PlayStation, and Wii U. So, if you guys didn't know, it was actually Minecraft's birthday. Um, and they actually held a special live stream. And the people that li held the live stream... Um, two of the members work for Microsoft directly, and then one of them uh, works for Mo Yang or 4J Studios, Robert, Roger Carpenter. And um, so what happened was the the actual stream itself was like a special birthday stream, and it was planned to happen this past weekend. Uh, Roger Carpenter tweeted out that he was going to have a special live stream for us, uh, and we all saw this thing coming. And Personally, I thought it was going to be like a little different of a live stream than actually happened. They have like a full rebroadcast, but the thing is, the broadcast did not have, um, I don't think they have like the comments, so you can't see what people were like asking and saying in the comment section live um, while they were answering the questions. They, you just, if you can watch the rerun, you will just be able to get the perspective of their answers, um, not what was actually happening in the chat. And some things for certain, um, when I was actually watching this uh, whole like live stream go down, I was kind of spectating the chat as well as the actual stream itself. They were answering some of the questions that were being read off, uh, read off from the chat, and I could actually pick up some trends that was actually happening in the chat, um, or in the stream, I should say, that they clearly, clearly had a discussion of what they can and what they cannot talk about in the live stream. And they kind of, in effect, leaked some stuff, or they, they really hinted towards some things that would be coming out in the next update or updates down the road. And personally, I think you guys are really going to enjoy what I'm going to tell you guys. So, Anyways, they definitely had some type of meeting before of what they can and they, what they cannot talk on stream. Um, it seemed like if, if you guys just kind of just watched the stream itself and you didn't like look too carefully or watch too carefully, it seemed like they were just playing Minecraft. It looked like there were two Microsoft employees, the Helen and Matt, were just playing Minecraft uh, normally just on the old um, Xbox 360. And then all of a sudden, Roger Carpenter comes in because he had a f late night flight um, into Seattle. He came in, and then it, it looked like he was just playing an old version of Minecraft. Obviously, they had to have some sort of communication of what they were going to play on stream and what they were going to talk about on stream uh, because uh, it was not just like they just sat down and said, what should we do? Oh, let's play Minecraft. Let's play an old edition of Minecraft. They had everything set up for Roger Carpenter, and it, everything was all ready to go. So obviously, there was some communication back and forth. With that communication, they clearly talked about what they could and couldn't talk about in the next update. Um, so, if you guys were actually on the stream, I think there was only like 200 people watching the stream, to be honest. Um, which was actually not a lot. Granny was at night, but there was barely anyone watching the stream when it was actually going down live. But, um, there was this another moderator. And I think a lot of people that are going to make videos and talk about this uh, whole entire stream... Are really going to take the moderator's word for it rather than what actually happened between the chat and the stream and it seems a little confusing at first when I'm saying that but hopefully I can break it down and it can make some sense to you guys so there was actually this moderator I believe he just moderates the Microsoft uh, stream chat I don't know if he's an actual Microsoft employee if he is I can kind of go on a little rant about him myself because Personally, I thought he was pretty disrespectful for the Minecraft uh, Council community. He um, he was trolling a lot. He was, like, talking a lot of stuff. Like, he was answering kids' questions. But, like, he kind of made fun of them in a way, which was kind of sad and ridiculous that he would, like, talk to people like that in a chat, especially because he's a moderator. you think that as a Microsoft employee, if he is a Microsoft employee, he would have a little bit more um, respect towards the community. Maybe he's, he's probably a nice guy in person. He's probably a really fun guy. Um, but he probably gets 
to stream like Battlefield and some other um, online shooter games because based on his profile picture on Twitter, it seemed like he kind of he streams and moderates other chats. So maybe there's like a more mature audience in a sense um, that may be able to take that criticism. But for the most part, a lot of people that I was actually talking to that was actually talking on that stream felt disrespected by this moderator in the chat, which is kind of like rude. You know, it's just, it's just a weird sense coming from 4J Studios and, and Microsoft themselves that they would have this moderator that would really just, I don't know, like make people feel like they were dumb and just lost in the world in a sense with Minecraft. I don't know. I felt really disrespected uh, when he would answer some people's questions and stuff like that when he said he clearly did not know like a thing about Minecraft. Like it just an from his answers itself, like it seemed like he doesn't play Minecraft on the Xbox like at all. Like it, maybe he played it once or twice, but like just from his answers, like it does not seem like a credible source at all. And obviously he wasn't Roger Carpenter answering these questions and uh, he wasn't any like actual 4J Studio member that actually works on this stuff. He's just some random moderator guy. So, anyways, getting back to the thing. Um, so the big thing obviously is the whole battle mode, the whole uh, servers, the bigger multiplayer, these online arena mode stuff. And they're clearly uh, the the files themselves don't lie. They're in the game. And the funny thing is because a lot of people in the chat were just bombarding the chat with battle mode talk about battle mode where's battle mode do you have any information on battle mode and they clearly clearly were ignoring it before even roger carpenter even walked into the room before it was just matt and helen talking on the stream themselves they clearly were just ignoring battle mode they did not talk about it at all um as if like the people that were asking those questions weren't like asking anything at all like they completely ignored it to not talk about it, did not mention it at all and when they're even like digging down for some like questions to answer and that was the funny thing because they would skip those questions about battle mode they 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 wouldn't say like there's no such thing as battle mode or um we can't talk about battle mode like um they they did not discuss battle mode they, they didn't even like mention it in any context uh, when it was just helen and matt um so that was kind of interesting um i kind of picked that up too then when Roger Carpenter walked in the room then too it, it was as almost someone t like briefed him on uh, like people are just asking away about battle mode like because once he walked in too they continued to completely ignore any question about battle mode um which was kind of interesting and then eventually they said we don't have any news on battle mode um of course then that the moderator guy said that 4G Studios does not leak stuff, which is true, you know, they don't, they don't, like, leak anything, because does a gaming company leak anything? No, um, <laughs> that, that's another thing that was incredible from this, this moderator in the chat, um, he claimed that people, um, think that 4J Studios tried leaking some stuff, but I don't know one game company that leaks information and news, um, look at this whole Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Battlefield 1 stuff, like, when Infinite Warfare first got leaked, the poster, was that an Infinite Warfare or Infinity War employee that leaked some information and news? No, that was some, like, Target employee. You know, like, game studios do not leak stuff. And once again, he kind of disrespected us. And kids are saying, like, we're talking about the leak of the, the arena mode, battle mode leak. And he, he claimed that 4D Studios don't leak stuff, which is true. 4D Studios does not leak stuff because other people leak stuff for the game studio which is kind of another thing that's kind of backing on my point here um then moving on they were saying uh, the, the the moderator itself i think this is gonna be a big big topic and a big discussion that we'll have um within like the whole minecraft community is if this battle mode thing is fake or if it's like real or are these just rumors people are making this stuff up the thing is though the moderator himself claimed that these are all rumors and there's nothing uh true about battle mode but the thing is though when he talks he's he's not a credible source that's the thing that people don't understand he's just a moderator that does not understand um he, he doesn't like work hand-to-hand -hand with 4j studios and the thing is too i actually went on his twitter profile and he tweeted at the actual streamers and he said, Helen and Matt, some trolls have been in the world. So I think it's his way of saying there's he was being a troll in the chat and he was just messing around with some people. But personally, I have no idea what to think about this. 
Um, like I mentioned before, I this JRT Tex guy, JR Tex, he's not a credible source. Um, he's just a moderator for a stream. He doesn't work with 4G Studios. He's not a game developer or anything like that. He has no idea what's going on in the development of Minecraft on the console. And the only people that were actually credible in the actual stream itself was Helen, Matt, and Roger Carpenter. And the thing is, too, they mentioned on the stream, um, Helen did, I believe, saying that they have no news at this time about battle mode. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, there, there's so many little things here and there that I think a lot of people kind of just, like, glanced over and they really read it. Like, they, they just saw it the first time and they believed it right away, especially with the moderator talking. Um, and they just believed everything that the, the uncredible moderator, I have to say, um, had to say, and they just took it for, for his word. Um, one thing then, too, the, um, I think this is like the biggest, biggest, biggest giveaway, and hopefully you guys are still with me on this video, but Roger Carpenter, like, he kind of made it like a statement saying he knows what we're talking about in the chat, but he's like, all I can say is the next update is going to please a lot of people, so... I'm going to leave the video like that. I personally think that we have still have high hopes for battle mode. And even though that the moderator shot down battle mode, the moderator is not a credible source. He's just a moderator for the stream. And he has nothing to do with the development of the game itself. So what does that say? Battle mode is still alive. It still has a pulse. And personally, I cannot wait to see what actually happens with the future of Minecraft, Xbox, PlayStation, and Wii U. Um, I have some more stuff to discussing this whole entire stream and what to expect within the next couple days on my channel. Um, I am currently finishing up with some exams, so you guys can see maybe my channel might be a little slow on uploads here and there, but I can promise you guys that some awesome things are coming your way from my channel. But anyways, my name is True Trees. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys just didn't mind my whole randling rant in a sense. But uh, I'm just so happy that there's still like a pulse for Minecraft Battle Mode. But anyways, my name is True Trees. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Until next time, stay true. Peace.